Many Muslims, they think that the Quran was only revealed for the Muslims. And the Quran is not meant for the non-Muslims. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, Alif Lam Ra. This is a book which Allah has revealed so that thou may guide us, the humankind, from the depths of darkness to light. Allah is telling that this book, the Quran, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, so that he could guide the humankind from the depths of darkness to light. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52, that here is a message for mankind. Let them take warning therefrom. Let them know there is one God. Let the men of understanding take heed. Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humankind, as a criteria to judge right from wrong. The Quran is a book which was revealed in the month of Ramadan as a guide for the whole of humankind, not only for the Muslims or for the Arabs, but for the whole of humankind, as a criteria to judge right from wrong. Allah says in Surah Az-Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 41, We have revealed the message to thee, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, so that thou may instruct the humankind. The Quran does not say that the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad so that he may instruct only the Muslims or the Arabs, so that he may instruct the whole of humankind. Yet, there are many Muslims who do not want to share the Quran with the non-Muslims, thinking, what will these non-Muslims understand the Quran? These non-Muslims, these mushriks, these kafir, what will they understand the Quran? Thinking that they are very superior. Do you know, this Quran was revealed 1400 years ago. At a time, it was revealed in Arabia, at a time which was known as Yom al the days of ignorance. At that time, before the Quran was revealed, the Arabs were known as the most ignorant people of the world. And imagine this Quran has changed the lives of these Arabs and made them the torchbearers of the world. So when the Quran could change those people 1400 years ago, why can't the Quran change the non-Muslims of this time? These are not the days of ignorance. History tells us that was known as Yom al the days of ignorance. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not but as a mercy to the whole of humankind, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to all the worlds. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. The last and final messenger was sent for the whole of humankind. The Quran says in chapter number 34, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا قَفَّةَ النَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَزِيرًا We have sent thee not but as a universal messenger giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings yet do not know. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humankind.